What's going on, y'all? Um, it's me, Sean, aka the Bass Reaper. But we're gonna exclude that name, the Bass Reaper, for right now, because right now I'm on a different mission. You know, I'm not on the mission of uh, chasing the bass as I usually do. And the reason why that is, I was kind of. Um, mm, I'm trying to figure the word or how should I say it. Um, I was kind of, I can say, uh, forced out of, um, uh, forced out of a situation of being able to chase the bass as I would usually do every day after work, but. You know, that was when I was with the company before I'm with this company that I'm with now, which is KLL and M. But uh, the company that I was with before, you know, it was. I ain't gonna get into that. I ain't gonna drag them down through the mud. But I wouldn't request. I just say I wouldn't um, advise or 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 um, or or or, or um, I wouldn't. Um, Introduce that job to no one else or advise anyone else to go to that job. You know, it was a local company back in North, you know, in North Carolina, which I'm not currently in North Carolina, but that's where I'm from, North Carolina. I'm right now currently in uh, Jackson, Mississippi. Um, finishing up on my ending days of my um, interview with KLM and them on the lease purchase deal. But um, so far, Anyway, but so far it's it's a good deal. You know, I've done a lot of thinking on it, researching on it, doing my numbers on it. But I ain't gonna get into all that. I may get into that after you know I do a few runs or after my first week of run, which I you know should be on next week. Um, I went out and looked in my truck today. Picked out my truck today. 2019 Cascadia Freightliner. Um, looked real nice. Runs good. You know, I did a little inspection on it myself. No leaks, no worries. Clean, real clean. Only thing I see that I missed on it is, um, well, I didn't miss on it that is missing, that the truck is missing, is a uh, refrigerator, which is not going to be a problem for me to purchase and uh, have it put in. <clears throat> I didn't have a converter. So what they did with that is uh, they gave me an option of purchasing my own converter or going in and having it done before I actually get my truck, uh, hopefully Friday. And the reason why the two options was, the reason why they presented the two options because if I went out and bought my own converter, they said it would be like three or $400 plus the cost of um, them installing it. No one else can be able to install it in a convertible but uh, KLM, KLL and M uh, shop, which I will end up spending more than what I'm going to spend here while it's still here. They can go ahead and put it in for 500 That's for the converter and installing, you know, with no downtime. So uh, versus if I went and purchased it myself, I would have to spend three or four hundred dollars plus installment fees, plus um, the downtime. Who knows what the downtime would have been on that? Maybe a day, whenever they got to it. Who knows? But I ain't got time for no downtime because it's money lost. I ain't trying to lose. I'm trying to gain. You know, it's come up season. You know, so I can't. You know, I chose to go ahead and get it done now. Wish they'll take. Um, 250 every week out of my check, out of the first week check, which I'm not even gonna miss that. And um, the second week they'll take another 250 just to go ahead and pay for it. <clears throat> but anyway, but like I said, so far so good. You know, I'm liking the numbers, I'm liking everything, you know, how they take care of business as a lot of companies say they gonna do, but they, I feel a lot more comfortable with this company with what they say, cause they, kind of show in orientation and and in the shop and how they they're they're very organized 
And when they say they're going to get something done, um, I see it throughout the day during my orientation. Okay, we're going to have this done. We're going to have that done. We're going to do this with the truck. It didn't take long, you know. They was on it. That that you know that 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 shows and tells a lot about a company. You know they're very passionate and um about what they do. You know and like I said, so far so good. So far so good. You know I haven't one hundred percent opened up, put my hopes out there. You know, but um from like I said, but from what I've seen and. How they handle business, like I say, they 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 they're, they're on top of the game. They're semi strict, somewhat, but it's a business. It's a business, you know. They ain't no need to, you know, beating around the bush, sugarcoating nothing. You know, they 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 take care of they they handle business well. They ain't gonna play no games with you neither. You bull job, you gonna get bull job. I mean. It's up to you how you make your money. I mean, they give you an option on that. As far as these persons, you pick your lows <clears throat> in the route, whichever you take over the road, southeastern or northeastern, have whatever, whatever region, whatever, <clears throat> whatever division that you select that you want to run. So uh, I chose southeastern. You know, I done been over the road. I drove for uh, a few companies before. I ain't gonna get into that because you know I don't. Cause I get into that, then I'm gonna have to go into details of why I left the company and this, like, all this, and that. But um, I don't want to, you know, throw nobody under the bus. But um, I will say this. Um, not throwing them under the bus, but CR England, Pam Transport, Tyson Foods. I wouldn't recommend nobody to go down. And the company or Hilco Transport, I wouldn't reckon nobody to recommend nobody to go there. Um, now, Schaefer, I can't speak on Creek because I didn't drive for Creek, but it's still within the same company, Schaefer, Creek, and Hunt. But uh, Schaefer, yeah, that is a good company. I can't say that. They're a good company. They ride you and they pay well. But I can't go into details on them because it wasn't, you know, something that the company did or they were lacking on my on my end, you know, or, um, but the reason why I left, I had a, um, I had a little baby. I had a newborn, a little girl, you know, and um, I was missing a lot of time, you know, and the mother, you know, she needed my help, you know, a lot more than, we had expected things didn't work out the way it, we had planned it, but like I said, I needed more home time, but I told them, you know, what was going on in the situation. So I turned the truck in, came onto the house, and everything went well. They didn't have no um, no disagreements or, or no bad terms because I was leaving, you know. They actually called me a few other times since I've been gone, which has been about five months now, five, close to six months now since I've been away from Schaefer. And um, they've called and asked me to come back, you know, because I left with, um, I, was a, I, was, I was a great driver. I put in a lot of miles with them in a short period of time. You know, I didn't turn down loads. You know, I did what I had to do. But um, like I said, they're a good company. You know, if anybody, Looking for a great company, you know. Schaefer and um, I can't speak. Schaefer is a good refrigeration company, you know. They gonna pay you. You like to ride. You looking money. They gonna pay well. I started out with forty seven cent a mile at Schaefer. It was good, very good. The trucks, the equipment, everything was well taken care of, you know. But um, like I said, they called me a few times, asked me to come back, and I told them the situation. I had already found another job, which was with Hilco, but uh, I'm not going to go on Hilco Transport. I'm not going to speak on them, so I'm going to leave it. You know, it, it was what it was, and it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I'm over here now, but, you know, even though I left some people like, okay, why did he just up and leave, you know? 
I didn't put in a two uh, two weeks uh, notice because I didn't have two weeks. Um, I didn't have a two weeks notice or time because when I caught this job here with KLL and M, um, it was a a kind of a demand. It was a, kind of like a high demand. You know, I caught the last position of Southeastern, and I was from that area, which I done ran those states before with, you know, a few other companies. So I jumped on it. I didn't have time for a two weeks notice. But, you know, it's all good, though. It still worked out. And, um, but like I say, KLL and them, they upset me, took me in. I did all the background check, all that, everything good. Of course, it's good because I'm still here now in the motel. But, um, you know, the motel is sweet. It's cool. You know, I got a little mishaps right there. I don't know what happened with the bed. I didn't do it, you know. I don't know what happened with the bed. But anyway, the motels are clean. They treat you right. They feed you every day at lunch at the end orientation. And all that. And um, you get $500 after the first week of orientation. You get a 5000 sign-on bonus. After the first week of you run, you get $2,500 on top of that, plus the lows, plus that week you work, you get the $2,500, which is half of the $5,000 sign-on bonus, plus what you ran that week. And um, I think it's like two, three, the other, three more weeks after that, you get the other half or whatever. I think it's 30 days. 30 days, something like that, I forgot, I'm not quite sure, but I know it's not too far along, you get the other half of uh, your sign-up bonus. But anyway, you know, you get a fuel surcharge and all that, and um, I can't quite remember exactly what it was, but it's still, um, it's a fair deal. I can say that, it's a fair deal on the fuel surcharge. I ain't even want to dig in the paperwork and go into that. But it's fair there. You you know you can't go wrong. You know I got like I said I got the 2019 Freightliner um, with the Detroit engine, and you know my payments not bad. You know 2019 109 thousand miles. You know what I'm saying for 558 a week being taken out, but you getting paid 95 cent a loaded miles, 90 cent uh, empty miles. You know so I mean. You can't go wrong with that, you know. Only way you go wrong with that if you're trying to go home as much as possible, trying to stay out long as as possible at home time, you ain't gonna know that. You might well stay where you at. Don't even waste your time. Because, you know, when you um, out here and you got the lease purchase or you're trying to own your own truck, you ain't got time for all that bull driving. Leave all that mess at home. You gotta be willing to make sacrifices. You know, you, you're you running a business. You got to cut a lot of stuff off when you're trying to be your own entrepreneur. You know, you got to go get it. You got to go get it. Build yourself up financially. And all that all that extra, once you get financially stable or comfortable to where you can miss a few days and be able to and have the money to, uh, to where you can um, go back to work, not worry about having a, a short check because you got it saved up to where it would, you know, it would um, replace what you've missed from not being in your truck, working, you know, driving your truck, running loads or whatever you want to call it, however you want to say it, I mean. But um, for the most part, like I said, so far everything is, everything is cool. KLL, KLL and M, you know, the company, you know, I would recommend someone to come here, but like I said, don't come here bull job. Cause they ain't gonna bull job with you. You know, they strictly serious. They strict because like I said, it's a business, man. And when you run a business, you ain't got time to play around. You ain't got time to bull job, trying to make every birthday party, trying to do all this and that mess. Get yourself together. Get it right. Get right. Cause if you ain't got enough money to come out of your check, for all them days you missed that week for your truck payment, it's gonna roll over to the next week. And whatever that truck payment is, it's gonna double up that next week and there's more money coming out. 
I'm not saying just make enough money to uh, make the truck payment and pay insurance and little tax and then put a little money in your pocket. No, don't do that. You ain't going to get nowhere. You make the money that you can make. Go get it. Get on the grind, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Unless you stay at home with your mom and dad or, you know, you really ain't got no bills, no kids, nothing like that. Yeah, you can play around. But I still advise you not to do that still because you're, you're steady getting older. You, you stack your bread. You ain't got time to waste no money. You're going to have plenty of time to enjoy life, you know. Get yourself well financially stable, man. I'm telling you. These days and times, you know, cost, cost of living going up. Everything is going up, man. I mean, everything, grocery, cost of living, housing, rent, whatever, your car notes, light bills, everything is going up, man. You know, I tell all the young people out there, man, or whoever I run into, man, hey, look, get yourself together. It's not like back in the day, early 90s, 80s, where you have time. You can run around and play. You still can play. Get your little U phone. But still, though, man, it's time to focus, yo. It really is. It's it's really time to focus, man. It really is. <clears throat> you know, you got to start. You know, you got to become an adult real early these days and times because of the way um, our economy is. You got to become an adult and responsible real early. You know, even though you're staying with your mom and dad or whatever, still. You may not have a lot of bills because a lot of your stuff is paid for. You ain't got nothing. It's time to become adult real early, man. Especially in the financial area of your life. You know, all this other material stuff, don't fall for that. You have that. You know, you have all that. Forget about trying to show off because you got this chain, this big watch, or these big rims, or this fancy car. Man, forget all that, man. Just keep it simple. Keep it basic. I ain't saying go out there and get some junk or some hammer downs or whatever. Yeah, you may want to enjoy it, but it's time to save money. It's time to get money, not just for the parents, not just for uh, the college students, even for the youth. A 17, 18 year old, go get it. Save that bread, I'm telling you. But you know, that'll be another video if I, I ain't going to get into that too much, you know. Right now, I'm just trying to tell you, uh, KLM is it, a good company, man, so far. Right now, I'm just trying to, you know, um, I'm very eager, and but I'm being patient with it. I'm very eager to get out there because I know how I get down on that road. I rise, dog. I get it in. I go hard. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm you know. Brothers and sisters and everybody want to know, are you coming back in uh, next week? No, I'm not coming back in, you know. That's nothing. No, you're not going to see me no next week. You know, the only way you see me is on, you know, uh, social media. You know, checking in, letting you know where I'm at. You know, everything is okay. But other than that, no, I got to go and get on the grind. You know what I'm saying? Because they going to pay me like they going to pay me, I'm going to get it, man. I got to have it. This is my stepping stone. I ain't got time to play. I'm going to ride. I may do a month straight, you know, just to see where I'm at. You know, you take the uh, fuel costs out. You take your truck payment out. I'm, what I'm trying to average, I'm trying to average at least 3,000 miles a week. I'm trying to average at least 3,000, no less than 27, 26, 27, no less than 25. 2,500 miles, but I'm trying to average up to 3,000 miles a week, you know. I'm done some numbers on it. I ain't got time to go into that, but uh, like I said, KLLNM with the lease purchase program, get on it, man. Get on it, man. I'm telling you, get on it. It's a good thing, yo. It's a good thing. But like I say, it's up to you how you make your money. It's totally up to you. Totally up to you. You know, when I do some more research, well, not research, when I study some more over the, uh, the booklet and get everything up here, as far as um, everything I want to tell you, uh, go into the details more, but I can't quite remember it offhand <clears throat> because, you know, it's everything. It's a lot been thrown at me in one time. It was a whole lot. They're going to put a lot on you. 
that's why you, you know what I'm saying, you study your paperwork, your handbooks, especially as far as um, how you operate your loads and keep up with your money and stuff. You know, because you're going to be paid, you got to pay them taxes and all that stuff. That's new to me. All this is new to me. You know, so I'm still learning. Like I say, if I could remember everything, I would go into details, but I'm not going to go into details and, and, you know, and I can't give you the full details of it. But um, as far as uh, the program and how they got it sought up, from what I remember, what, you know, hearing it, but I can't, you know, the details of it. But um, it's a good program, man. But like I say, it's totally up to you how you make your money, man. It really is. It's totally up to you because the money is there. The money is there. They paying you real well. I do know that. They gonna pay. You. They 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 paying real well. You can make the money. You know, once you get on one accord with your dispatch, and you let them know how you want to run, and once he get you on, y'all get on the same page. You can make that bread, man. You can make it. It's there to make easy money, yo. Easy money, I'm telling you, easy money. You know, like I tell some guys, though, man, just because you got the money doesn't mean you can spend that money like that because all that money ain't yours. It ain't going to be yours because you got the truck payment, you got insurance. Yeah, you got to find, oh, yeah. You do got to find your own insurance if you don't have your own insurance. Not insurance for the truck. But your insurance for you, your health insurance. You got to get your own health insurance. That's the only thing I'm lacking. I'm not knowing, I'm not sure which way I'm going to go as far as getting um, who I'm going to insure with. But uh, I got to get me some insurance. Though. I wish that come in time while you're getting your bread right. You can get insured. But you will be insured. The truck will come with insurance and all that. that it's covered. You don't have to do that. But as far as your health insurance, you got to find your own personal health insurance. But like I said, that comes with time. But try to get it as quick as possible because you never know why something may happen the same day you go out. But, you know, it's a risk. But like I say, you, you'll have the money um, after that first week of run. You'll have some money to do what you got to do. You know, plus that 500 uh, out of orientation. Then that next week, you get uh, half of your sign-on bonus plus that, that first week run. Oh, that's going to be together. So you're looking at a... Uh, a good deal of looking at a good deal of right at close to three thirty-five hundred. I say thirty-two, thirty, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five hundred. But um, again, it's a good program, man. Get on it, man. You can't go wrong with KLL and them. You know, like I said, it's up to you how you want to make your bread. Cause the money is there to be made. You know, I ain't trying to get rich, but I'm 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 gonna get well off. I'm gonna eat real good. I'm gonna eat real good. I really am, you know. Which I'm a simple man. I'm not out here trying to get it. You know, buy all this latest stuff. Ain't about that. You know, I'm trying to set myself up for retirement. You know, I just had a birthday. I just turned 44, so yeah, 44 year old, so. I ain't got time to play around, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of behind financially on my future financial status. You know, I'm trying to set that up for that. I'm not worrying about it now, you know. It don't take nothing but a little groceries and pay my bills now. But right now, I'm trying to get my accounts right. That's what I'm trying to get right. So when I retire, I'll, I'll be straight. 401k, two or three accounts with money in them. You know, saving on putting something in each account every week. Something is going in them accounts. No less than $150 every week going in them accounts. No less. So, all the way up. Till 10, 15 years, my health stay good and I can last in that truck. During 10, 15 years, with the truck will be paid off within five years. The truck will be paid for. So, you know, I'm good. Five years, yeah, a truck will be paid for in five years. So that's one payment at a, you know, 558. That's 558 to me. No more payments. But again, man, it's time to get right. It's time to get right. But like I say, you can't go wrong when you come to KLLM or uh, lease purchase deal. You know, 
It's a good come up. A great program. Great program. They train you well. With student wise, I can't tell you about that because I didn't go through the student go through the school courses. I didn't go through the courses. But I'm telling you about the lease purchase. It's a good deal, man. You cannot go wrong with this lease purchase deal. You cannot go wrong. Only way you go wrong if you jump out here and want to spend money as fast as you make it. You're done. You're done. You're a waste of time, man. You're a waste of time. I mean, they got good trucks. They let you pick out your own truck. You know, what you pick out in order. You know, one, two, three, four, five. How many go out there at the time? You know, the first person, second person, third person. You go out there and pick out your truck. See which one you want. See if you like it or whatever. You know, you check the, you know, the warranty and all that on it. You know, you look over your truck, crank it up. You're driving around the yard. You can't go on the main highways because you ain't got no insurance on the truck right now at the time. But um, they do let you drive the truck, crank it, and all that good stuff. Let it run for a while, check for oil leaks, you know, the basics. The basic trip. Do the basic inspection on it real quick. And then after that, you know, they going to put this truck in the shop and do however many inspections they can on the truck. Make sure your tires good, no leaks. They going to do a whole inspection on the truck before they actually give it to you for you to drive and um, even if you bobtail on your first load it's going to be like getting paid as a as loaded miles even though you're bobtailing you're not going to get the empty pay you're going to get paid as loaded miles because you're on your way out you just got the truck you may be going to get a load you know i want to leave from here mississippi jackson mississippi with a load on my back going towards north carolina you know but um Wherever, I don't give a damn. I don't, I don't care where they send it to, you know. I don't care where the load going or wherever I got to go pick a load up. I'm trying to get my load as soon as possible, man. Like I said, I ain't got time to play. <clears throat> I'm trying to get on the grind as soon as possible. Again, though, um, it's a good program, man. It really is. You can come up real good, man. I say, oh, man. You should be averaging around anywhere a month in a month's time. You should be looking at anywhere from four to depends on how you run. Depends on how you run and where how much <clears throat> how many bills you got on you. Like me, I don't have a lot of bills. I got some bills and my bills are not that high because I ain't crazy to jump out there like that. I should average around I should be averaging around six thousand dollars a month. Five. That's what I'm trying to look at. About five thousand dollars a month. You know, saved up. That's safe. That's in savings. No less than thirty-five. Four. No less than yeah. No less than um thirty-five. I ain't trying to have no less than thirty-five. Thirty-five hundred a month saved up, untouched, untouched money. Thirty-five hundred. A month. So, you know, like I say, you got to pay your taxes and all that. You got to pay them taxes. You don't want IRS on your ass. So, well, again, it's a good program, man. My next video after I run out with my truck and do a couple runs, I'm going to make another video and let you know how it is. How they uh, dispatch run and all that down. Type of money I averaged out for that first week. Well, uh, this is just... My first and rough draft video was trying to give you a, a little insight on KLLNM and KLLNM lease purchase program. You know, I'm going to make another video after my first week run, you know, once I get in here and actually see what I'm doing. Then I'll probably make another video once I get a few runs in after a few weeks actually um, see what I'm really working with so I can pretty much balance out and see what I can and can't do you know what I'm capable of doing and what my averages is are or whatever but um like I said I'm finna cut this video but if y'all looking for a good lease purchase deal program come to KLL on them I'm telling you come to KLL and M they going to pay well. They're going to put you in a nice truck. Except you what kind of truck you get. Again, I got a 2019. 2019 Cascadia Freightliner. Detroit engine. Um, 
558 a week. It cost me 558 a week, which I know will make well over 558 a week, well over. So I'm not worrying about the truck payment. I'm gonna kill that. You know, I'm not worrying about that because I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna go get her. You know, so again, I'm finna cut this video short. Y'all hold it down and don't forget. <clears throat> don't forget. If you're looking for a lease purchase deal program, come to KLL and M. You know that it's it's awesome. Awesome program, man. Awesome man. Very affordable car truck payments. Very affordable. It's it's just there. It's easy money, man. Easy money. You can afford it. Like I said, I don't know what your personal bills are outside of KLN, but try not. If you got real, if you got a lot of bills and they're cheap bills, low bills, <clears throat> you can get it. You can get it in. You can save a lot of money. But if you out there really far in debt, you can come out of debt. You can come out of debt here, but you just gotta be um, financially obedient. With your spending, and, and 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 you know, you gotta you gotta train that mentally. You gotta train that mental man on how to say. You gotta get your own strategy or however you want to call it. You gotta learn how to save money. But anyway, like I said, I'm finna cut this video, man. And um, K L N L M, man, check the program out, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you can come up. You can come up. All right, y'all be safe out there. For you new students, don't be afraid to take that step. I'm telling you, don't be afraid. Check it out. You can make good money as a student driver too, as some of the students that are here, that are here at this company, is making, you know, no less than 800, 900 a week starting off. Some weeks they say they make 12 out of taxes and everything. Some students are making this as a student, as a company driver. So check KLL and them out, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. All right, I'm out. It's your boy, Terrence, whatever you want to call it, Sean, a.k.a. the Bass Reaper. I'm out. Y'all be safe. Hold it now.